How's it going, everybody? You're just in time for the next episode of Plucky Squire. We got through got through the swamp last time, and now we're just going through Artia. I was expecting someone to talk immediately when I started playing. We'll get through this first. A Glumber, what's going on? My robot roboinks, my little round piggies. They started behaving strangely a day ago, rolling around like squishy pink bowling balls. They busted clean out of the farm. Will you find my roboinks and return them to me? There are six of them. Uncle, finding piggies is our specialty. Well, I've never done that before, actually, but I'm sure we'll we'll be good at it. Okay, so as I was saying, we got to our Artiza last episode. I did a quick look around for a exit to the 3D world, but I didn't find one because I was hoping to go back to the swamp and check around for any items I missed. But we'll do that later, I guess. For now, we'll just start talking to everyone here and see what I can find. I'm just a copy of the genuine article. Or is it the other way around? It doesn't matter anyway. Are we going to the houses? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good start. Get the art now. Find collectibles and get them out of the way. I already missed. Oh, it might be in town, actually. Some early concept thing of game environments. This would eventually become Artia Town. That one looks more like a generic village for any adventure game. Okay, one Reboink. Oh, we have to bring him? It's like Ocarina of Time. There you go. Five Reboinks remaining. Welcome back, little piggy. The reason I'm going for vivid colors. My sister is more tasteful. Me, I like to dress bold. Bold, bold, bold. Okay, that's all she's got to say. I am not a dog. Like I said, definitely not a dog. I'm not a cat either, in case you were wondering. I'm not a cat either, in case you were wondering. Okay, he's tapped. Oh, one more boink. Throw him in the den. There. Four Reboinks remaining. Marvelous frowning up. Talk to everyone in town. This juice is delicious. We we'll probably make quite a nice pigment too. Fruit is the key to health and happiness. Okay, that's all he's got to say. Just wind up talking to everyone. I am entranced by the mystery of this pyramid. I have been standing here looking at it for three days straight. It is so... Blue. It is so... Okay, he's tapped. How do I get that pig, though? Oh, is it following? No. I'm assuming we have to go out of the book for me. Oh, I didn't check every house, and there might be a house with a way out. The Plucky Squire, what an honor. Sorry if I'm fumbling, I just don't often run into celebrities. Have you seen our paint fountain? Sometimes when I was looking, I like to jump in for a wallow. Anything? Oh, back door? Nope. Hello, I'm working on a self-portrait. You think about it? I'm really the only one qualified to draw a self-portrait of myself. Is he looking into a crystal ball? My work is a game, a very serious game. You like my flowers, they fill my heart with joy. Only one flower can know the spirit of another flower. I like to paint these flowers, I paint them so... They will not die. I've been... I've seen you in picture books. You're Jot, the plucky squire, aren't you? Pretty plucky myself. It says I'm a mischief maker, but I don't see that in that... that way. I'm gonna tell my mom I ran into Jot, the plucky squire. Hope she believes me. Sorry, plucky squire, the queen is not quite ready to see you yet. Please take a look around the town while you wait. I like to paint the people of Artia. Paint people as I think them, not as I see them. I don't have red, I use blue. Actually, I really like blue. Go and do things, you can't. This is how you get to do them. I love, I just love painting butterflies. Do you think they're really made out of butter? Are, are you made out of butter? My pop loves his reboinks. He's shy about it, but I know he likes to paint their portraits. Okay, nothing. I don't think Martina has anything for me. A collectible. Oh, here we go. This is the art I was missing. It's a rabbit. It's not the one I was missing. One point, Violet was a rabbit. That 
would have been weird. Okay. So I missed one piece of art somewhere. Oh, found a pig. Bring it all the way. I'll probably talk to Mona Lisa when I come back. Three more points remaining. You're getting there. I can roll to get faster. Lucky Squire, how nice to see you. You know, many people come here to see my smile. I'm trying to get too self-conscious about it. Some people seem to have a problem reading my mood. I assure you I'm quite happy. Okay. Oh, we can attack. Oh, there might be a picture in one of these. Can we knock this over? Aww. Oh, why not? Yeah, the missing collectible could be in one of these. Doesn't look like it. Can we talk to you? Ah, uh, you're the famous Plucky Squire, aren't you? I'd like to make a thousand pictures of your face. My idea of a good picture is one that's in focus and of a famous person. Okay. That's all he's got. Oh, we can chop the bushes, too. Nothing. Ah, uh, everything looks better covered in dots. I'm trying to cover RT in dots, but the groundskeeper won't let me. You're considered covering yourself in dots. Can you go in his house? Nope. Uh, I can really recommend living inside a pumpkin. If you're hungry, you can just nibble on the furniture. It's my favorite city in all of Mojo. Very visual worm, though. Okay, he's tapped. I will do water, beautiful blue water. The lily pads, I quite like those, too. I wish is to say, always like this, living quietly in a corner of nature. Okay. I'm not here. I was possibly here before, but now I'm definitely not. Although I may be here again shortly. What do you mean? I do not mean anything. It is all mystery. Ah, uh, the sunflowers are beautiful. If you truly love nature, you'll find beauty everywhere. New painting can be a little daunting. The beginning is perhaps more difficult than anything else. We'll keep heart. It will turn out all right. New painting can... Okay, he's done. I check every building, talk to everyone for any... Oh! Glitch bird. Having a little vacation in Artia. Art is nourishing for the soul, I find. I'm really draw, but... I Wait. What did it say? Maybe one day I could be here and become an artist. Can't really draw, but I can finger paint. So we can't pick up that one? Oh, that's a heavy fellow. Hey, it's tiny. It's the sweetest Reboink, but he does spend a lot of time sleeping. Should be in his mud bath back at Umber's farm. Let's carry him over there. Um, I'm flattered that you think that we've got the upper body strength, but we're not carrying this tiny dude an inch. Hey, gang. Thrash is right. If you're carrying tiny, you'll be spraying. You'll sprain, well, everything. No, this is a plucky job. John, I think there's an item out there on the desk that can help you. Why don't you jump out and go find it? Moonbeard out. I am that could sh shift this piggy? That'd be something. Sounds like we'll need to find one of those swirly green portals. First, let's talk to everyone. Shh, you haven't seen me. I like to make my art when no one's looking. I hide in the trees until I spot my moment. Nope, okay, that's it. Now we'll talk to all the artists first. Ooh, what a scary looking sculpture. Ah, really quite unnerving. Yeah, it hasn't got any less scary. How do I talk to this one? What am I drawing? A glistening form with glossy lips, a skull, a rib cage. It is a birthday card for my friend. I always try to remember my friend's birthdays. I want them to feel appreciated. Okay. We'll take the pig, though. And carry it all the way back. It's probably, like, in the guy's house after we find all the reboinks, maybe. Two left? Yep. It's getting livelier in Number Farm. Then roll all the way back for the sake of speed. I call the sculpture Overgrown. Party is a home for all kinds of artists. Me, I like to draw games. Drawings you can play with. What could be more fun? 
Okay, that's all he's got. Nothing in the diner. I'm gonna pick up some paint brushes up later today. Find new stationery is so invigorating. Good paintbrush is a wonderful friend. Wonderful bristly friend. Oh! Congratulations, you have made the most wonderful discovery. Me! Each morning when I wake, I experience again a supreme pleasure, that of being me. The difference between me and a madman is that I'm not mad. Okay. What am I reading? The Adventures of the Plucky Squire, of course. The hottest books in all of land. I wish I could meet the Plucky Squire one day. Living a pretty serene life. That's probably why I enjoy reading about its exciting adventures so much. Okay, tapped out. I love this little er area of the town. Maybe I'll paint it someday. The more I paint, the more I feel like live everything. Grar. Grar grar gurp. Okay, that's it. Well, how do I get to that pig? I think I've talked to everyone now. Can't leave. Oh! Why is the dog sparkling? Hey, look at that. Green sparkles under that doggy. Let's see, he sat right on top of a patch of magic. Come on, fellow, why don't you budge over? You're sitting on something kind of important. I'm not a dog. Uh, it doesn't look like he's budging. How are we gonna get him to move? Maybe if we find his owner, he'll have an idea. Yeah, I know his owner. Mr. McGree, smart chap in a matching bowler hat. Okay, roll all the way back. There he is. Hey, Mr. McGree. Well, bonjour, young Violet. You know, it's nice to see you into the town again. You've grown a little taller. Or maybe the world has grown a little shorter. It's hard to say which. How can I help you? Your dog, he's sitting on something quite important. Do you have any uh, advice on how to shift them? Interesting question. My mind, unfortunately, is a blank. I need something inspiration to spark some thought. I need an object to see my inspiration. I need... an apple. Okay. We'll get you an apple. Where are we gonna get an apple? Somewhere fruity, I suppose. Is it the smoothie shop? Well, more people are here now. Well, look who we have here. Oh, hello, Penny. Hello, Clipso. A uh, long time no see. Splat. Hey, hey. Dot, dot, dot. Can we just walk in? Yep. Hey, Mr. Berry. Hi there, Violet. What can I do for you? Funny you should ask. The thing is, we're looking for an apple. Well, you have come to the right place. I have a fresh green apple right here. Pretty shiny, huh? That's good apple, that is. No, my apples. I'm surrounded by fruit. You can have this one free of charge. Brilliant. Thank you, Mr. Berry. They're gonna take it? Yeah, of course they're gonna take it. Nice hat, Splat. Still trying to hold magic thing? Dot, dot, dot. At least you haven't turned yourself into a frog yet. I'm not so sure. Take a closer look at her face. Hey, what's with all these majorly mean vibes? Hey, hey. See you around, Splat. Totally uncool. What is up with those two? They've always been like that. They were a real joy in school. That's why they gave me my nickname. See, I really wanted to get good at pa painterly magic, but there are a few accidents. I flooded the whole classroom with multicolored paint. People couldn't hear properly for weeks, paint in their ears. That's when I became known as Splat. They never let me live it down. I mean, we all make mistakes, you know? No need to keep ragging on someone for their catastrophes. Uh, mishaps. Thanks, Trash. Thrash, not Trash. Anyway, that was a long time ago. Doesn't bother me anymore. Not a big deal, nope. Come on, let's go see Mr. McGree. I'm not a cat, either in case you were- oh wait, we have to- Can't we just give the dog the apple? Why do we have to walk over here? There you go, Mr. McGree, a fresh green apple. Oh, Marvelou. I can feel the inspiration. And I can respond to the question that you posed to me before. Yes, the answer is sparking in my mind. The way to move Ren, my dog, is remind him that it is time for his nap. 
He'll walk on over and take a nap next to me. That's it? Well, okay, give me the give that a go. Thank you, Mr. McGree. They're in. I don't know if I'm pronouncing those right. Okay, run back over here and tell the dog it's nap time. Hey there, red doggy. Um, your owner, Mr. Gree, wanted us to remind you it's time for your nap. So it is. I shall sleep by the lakeside. The dream is a translation of waking life. Then waking life is also a translation of the dream. Au revoir. The sophisticated dog. Phew, and there we have it, dudes. Shiny sparkly portal. Okay. Leave them back here and go find... Oh. All the way up. I'm guessing we're going to meet people in the houses, maybe. Another glove? I thought it was going to be something else. Can I go back to the snail village? Nope. Yeah, it seems you can only go to ch pages for that chapter. That's That kind of stinks. So I've definitely missed a few things. So there's going to be a second playthrough for sure. Unless later you can choose what chapter you want to play. Probably the best case scenario. There's a page right there. Okay, what do I got to work with? Other than finding tons of cash. There's gonna be a lot of rolling in this. It's just faster than walking. Oh, no, that's the edge. I keep forgetting there's an edge. Oh, you can jump into roll. I didn't know that. Okay, keep attacking. I'll talk to Mini Beard in a second. Right now, I just want to check the rest of the map. In case of anything else. A lot of cash here. Three bucks. Check around the corners. Just looking for anything out of the ordinary. For some reason, I thought you had double jump there for a second. No, I want collectibles. Okay, we can go through the measuring tape. There. There's a page. Page, art, sticker, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some really concepting of game environments. The hot spring looks quite inviting, don't you think? Uh, barely? I can barely tell it's a hot spring with it being so blue with everything else. Okay, so I have to go up. I'm guessing we're going to go up from over this side. Oh, wait, let's talk to Moonbeard, or Mini Beard. Hey, Chuck. The item you need is in the attic of the house up there. Nice place, desirable window, still location. Harvey tax must be astronomical. Okay, keep climbing. Oh, new enemies. It's just a bird. How far does it follow you, though? Yeah, it's, it's still going. Okay, it takes it has three HP. Ooh, all the cash. No collectible though. I was hoping for a sticker. Where'd that bird go? Oh, the bird followed me in. Where's he going? Is he coming back down? Where the heck am I? Okay, there we go. I didn't know where I was going to wind up there. Oh, there's his backyard. It's very... Is that grass? There's like no grass almost. It's like... 
If it is grass, it's a dark shade, but... Like, there's a shed to the right. Bench. And a little walkway, but that's some dark grass. Can I attack this tree for anything? Nope. Attack the trees first. Attack this bear for anything? Nothing. Anything behind the bear? Nope. I had to look. I gotta look for any collectibles. It could be anywhere. Not gonna go in the house yet. I guess we can't. We need the key first. All right, there. The house's door is locked, so you'll need to find a key. Don't try and break in. It never looks dignified. It's odd that in the 3D world, Jack can cling onto ledges and climb up, but in 2D, he can't. With how many platforms you have to jump off of and everything in the 2D realm. Oh, the bird shoots stuff. I thought it dove at you. It's got way too many Rubik's Cubes. Anything to be done around here? Nope. Nope, there's a Goomba hiding back there. Gotta look for any pictures and photos. Yeah, okay, his backyard has a walkway. The grass is so green. Like, that is not natural grass. I feel like I've missed a collectible, too. I just got that feeling. Did I get behind the cactus? Nope. Okay, we're in. Is it gonna be another drawbridge or is it gonna open like a real door? Okay, opens like a real door, got it. There's gotta be a collectible in here, maybe. I'm free! Time to start ransacking the house. Oh, okay. Any other collectibles? Welcome, make yourself at home. Also hit furniture. Who knows what useful things you might shake out. If there's at least one collectible, it's worth it. Maybe it's in here. Another key! Put that down first. What about the people? Nothing, okay. Just looking out for collectibles. Top priority. I feel like I've missed one though. <laughs> Gotta hit all the furniture. Mini beer said so. <laughs> Only one Goomba to deal with. There. Actually, wait. Something I check. Uh, I was home for a uh, collectible. That felt right. Oh, pick that up. Oh, that just felt right. I was like, here it is. It's like, no. Almost at the top. Probably call it quits on this episode once I get to the top. It's an enemy! He's hiding in the dryer! Oh. 
Nothing in the bathroom? Okay. These two are just sleeping. But Jot doesn't care. Jot's gotta take everything down. Definitely have an- oh wait, can we go out here? Nope. Definitely have enough cash for a good upgrade when I get back to Martina. It's all just cash. Up we get. Oh, made it to the attic, but we're still going up. Anything else? I don't want to drop in yet. Nope. Can I like fall down? No, okay. I was wondering if you can fall in from the ledge. No enemies in here? And probably after I pick it up, maybe? No, okay. Pick up the glove. Another power glove. Jock got the tilt gauntlets. With these mysterious gloves, he has the power to move the world itself. Using L2 and R2 when manipulating the book. Another of Moonbeard's magical items. I believe you will find the tilt gauntlets most beneficial. And rather fun if you enjoy tilting the things. Return to your book and give them a whirl. I'll make up a magic. I'll magic up a portal to keep you on your way, to help you on your way. Away I go. I feel I missed an item though. I, I had to have. Oh, like the cash. Hey, Jot. Time to try out these powered up gauntlets of yours. Walk up to the book and press L2, R2. You should be able to angle things in a whole new way. Moonbeard out. First of all, I'll always do it from this side. Let's take these tilt gauntlets for a spin. You should be able to tilt the book itself with L2 and R2. Isn't this the same thing as just turning a page though? Made it! Look at that! Tiny is back where he belongs. Head back into the book to check in with the gang. Uh, I don't want to yet. I have to. Okay. Oh, there's some other spirals I can do. Judd dude, welcome back. The tiny problem got fixed while you were gone. We spied him rolling out right back into his mud bath. Sorry I had to trek outside for nothing. Okay, see you guys later. Got more stuff to do. First of all, there's this one. Here we go. And take them with us. So we can take pigs with us, but we can't bring Thrash and Violet out of the book with us. These pigs have magic in them? One Roboink remaining. It's nearly all of them. One left. Wait. Attack the tree. Nothing. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, last pig. Chuck him in. Woohoo, all my piggies are back safe and sound. Violet, Violet's unusual looking friends. Thank you. Uh, one of the pigs is stuck. Think nothing of it, uncle. Token my appreciation, please take this. Ooh! Maybe this is the one I need for next in order? Please don't miss one. Please don't miss one. Oh! Okay! Exploring designs for silhouetted enemies. I would say the ghosts are cool. These ones have names too. A blat and a scrat. I think the blats are in the game naturally though. Impale. 
and pull puffs. The sleep, the sleppies are cool. Maybe they're gonna be in the game. Yeah, I've seen some of those other ones already. Now I can go back to farming racer dust from my lovely Reboinks. Well, gang, good job on getting those piggies back. Just arrived at the castle gates. Head on over. Anything in the house? Nope. Just a pencil sharpener. Okay. That's probably it for this episode. Next one, we'll talk with Moonbeard and get on to see the queen and hopefully get our next objective slash quest and be on our way to the next chapter and adventure. So I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for stopping by.